already know the past couple weeks we've already given you reviews on both of our wigs first we had Abby with her 30 inch HD lace human hair wig and then the next week we had me here with this synthetic wig sandy blonde so today we are here to we're gonna do a follow-up for you guys so yes. two week follow-up right? two week follow-up we're gonna tell you guys how these weeks have held up the pros and the cons the good and the bad tell you what we did and how it affected our hair so if you're interested stay tuned yes. all right guys let's get right into it i know the big things you guys want to know is does it shed and does it tangle so you very know important. very important as you know mine is a human hair wig so i expected it not to tangle and it did live up to that expectation um i can say that i didn't have any problems with any tangling it did shed but very minimal like i can't even complain about it it wasn't shedding all over it wasn't crazy but it is expected you guys have you know any type of like wig or yeah. synthetic hair it will shed but it wasn't crazy it wasn't nothing noticeable so i would say as far as tangling and shedding i would give it an a plus Ooh. Okay. <laughs> all right so in terms of my wig when it comes to tangling and shedding so all right y'all y'all know this is synthetic wigs so we can't have the best of the best Let's expectations <laughs> but when it comes to tangling okay so this, I've worn this wig a couple of times and even after the first time wearing it, the tangleness was really bad. I really hate to have to say that, but you know, it. I've had straight synthetic wigs before and it didn't tangle that fast, but this one, after the first night, like, I didn't even go anywhere for more than like three hours, I think it was, and it was already like Nap City or whatever. Nap so... <laughs> I did have to bring this wig back to life, y'all. We gonna talk more about that later with how I did that because it does look much better than what it was looking. As far as shedding, it does shed. It's a synthetic wig. Yeah. But again, I've had synthetic wigs that don't shed that horrible, have you? I mean, yeah. I mean, synthetic wigs, you expect them to shed, but it's, it's a, to a it's certain a limit. point. It's a limit, okay? It's a limit on the shedding with the synthetic <laughs> wigs. But I feel like this has shed it much more than what it should have. Maybe I got a bad unit. I don't know. We always think that maybe it's yeah, me. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's my me. Maybe it's just my badge <laughs> because I've done, we used to do synthetic all the time back in the day. We, we, it we, we don't forget where we came from. <laughs> but I, I do think that the um, shedding was a little excessive for this wig. Um, the tangleness was a little excessive as well after one day. But thank God for me bringing it back to life because as you can see i can actually run my hands through y'all would have it looks this. great no i feel like it looks like it's straight out the box now it does like when i had took it out but i had to do something to bring it back to life so I'll let y'all know yeah all right guys so what products did i put on here so i really didn't think i needed any products because it felt really moisturized already and soft but I did notice that I had a few flyaways. So I used this like um, glue stick and I to, you know, hold down the flyaways. And it was great. The first night I put my little like just stick on there for the flyaways and it was looking like Naomi Campbell. Who? Like I was really like rocking it. I loved it. The next day though. Oh Lord. It was just so oily and greasy. You remember? That was in Puerto Rico. When right? We were in Puerto Rico. Yeah. I it was, was weird because it wasn't just that part. It was the whole thing. Like it just looked really oily and and greasy. So I would say with this wig, don't put nothing on it. Or maybe I don't know if it's the one that I use, mm -hmm. but be careful how much product you use on it because it really does absorb the product and it really weighs down yeah. the hair. Yeah. It makes yeah. it very heavy and yeah. it's very noticeable. Yeah. And um, it takes away from that light, you know, airy look of it. How it looks right now. Yeah. And this is, I, I wore it, you know, I didn't wash it. It has been a, like maybe a few days since I washed it, but it still looks good because I didn't put anything on it. No product. So I would say um, the flyaways, you're going to have to deal with it. Or if you don't want to deal with it, you're going to have to deal with washing this hair every other day. Who wants to do that? And we don't want to do that. Um, 
fresh out of the box. This wig is definitely not dry. You guys know synthetic wigs always have like kind of like a little gloss or shine to them, some more than others. But I think this one was really like even or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, as far as products, no products. Don't use no products in here. The only thing you might need, again, is a glue stick for the flyaway. So this wig, this unit does come with baby hairs. Don't waste your time. They're not gonna <laughs> stay. I mean, if you can, listen, if you know how to get your synthetic wig baby hairs to stay, please let us know in the comments, because I can't, can you? I can't, and you know, <laughs> we, and we're good at the baby hairs. Mind you, I don't have any baby hairs on this because I wasn't doing it with this wig. Right. I didn't like that look. But for a look that you do want baby hairs and you have synthetic hair, is not gonna work. Yeah, this wig definitely didn't work. The baby hairs that they had, as I, got, I showed you guys in my video, they were really cute, but they just did not work. They didn't stay, so it was just pointless. But as you can see, it doesn't look horrible. Like, yes, I don't have baby hairs, but at least the line, like here, it kind of still looks like looks natural. natural. Yeah, so yeah. again, um, dryness, synthetic wigs are usually not super dry until after you start wearing them. And then you gotta use the little snap bag, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit with the game. But outside of that, um, you shouldn't really have too much going on with dryness unless you're no. wearing this wig over and over again. So yeah. All right, so now let's talk about bringing this back to life. I know I just told y'all not too long ago I had to use downy in order to bring this synthetic wig back to life. I was and a non-believer too, guys. I know, I didn't even know anything about this because we weren't doing this when we was wearing synthetic wigs back the then. The game done upped up. It has changed, but I'm so grateful. Shout out to all of our other YouTubers out there for putting us on. Mm -hmm. Sorry we can't really say who's who, but either way it goes, definitely if you use fabric softener, I use like a cup and a half a fabric softener and then maybe like a cup of water and put it in like into a bowl or something like that and just put your ends in and soak them. Sometimes you kind of have to gauge what it is as how much hair you want to um, soak, but I only really needed my ends and you should not leave it in no more than 30 minutes. Or and else guys, you're gonna be smelling like a yes, big pile of clean laundry. You will, and that happened to me <laughs> with another wig, but that'll be in another video. But either way, don't leave it in like overnight or anything like that because the, the gain scent, the, the fabric softener is really, really strong. Yes. And when you're walking around, you will be inhaling and smelling that. Which ain't a bad thing to smell it's clean and much. fresh, it's but it is much. very powerful. It's too much. That along with a light, um, you gotta run a flat iron through it, real light time. Temperature. Okay. What temperature did you use? Um, 300 degrees. So yeah. Because so, it is synthetic hair. You don't want it hot, hot, hot. Mm -hmm. You will burn it and it will shrivel up and yeah. it will. Yeah. That's why I'm really surprised that I'm able to do this continuously. So after I washed it, I shampooed it slightly. I conditioned it. Let the conditioner sit for like 30, 45 minutes. And then I let it dry until it was completely dry, air dry. No blow dryer or anything like that. Don't do that. And then this is just exactly how it looks. Just like when I got it. Beautiful. <laughs> it ain't bad. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. But definitely straight hair. And I'm not going to even just say the summertime in general with a synthetic wig. If you don't have a good unit, I guess it's not going to work. Because again, we've worn synthetic wigs before summertime. No matter what season it was. And it didn't get as nappy and tangled on the ends as this one did. So... We just trying to let y'all know. <laughs> All right guys, so just a couple more things. So again, like I told you, this this did come as a lace front wig or whatever, I believe, right? Was it a lace front? You didn't have to cut the lace off that one. I had to cut it on the other one, I think. So. But not this one. Well, I'll double check and let you guys know in the comments, but it still had the baby hairs or whatever the case is. Um, this is not glued down. This don't have no got to be sprayed. Like you can really just throw this on and kind of go with the flow. That's what I really like about certain synthetic wigs like this about much um and as you can see the color it comes as it is i think it's really really nice um yeah so that's pretty much it so as far as my hair the resurrection process what i did to bring it back to life 
was really just washing it with um, like a really cheap suave condition um, shampoo. Um, I, I didn't condition it because I was like, I'm not gonna put any conditioner on this because I don't even want it to have extra product. So I just washed it with a cheap um, shampoo and that was it. And now that I know how it is, I'm really careful with the products that I put on it. And that's all I have to do with it. It's a human hair, so you really don't need to do much to it. Um, I did have that's to- That's the joy of having human hair. I know, you pay for what you get, <laughs> pretty much. But um, I did have to run a flat iron on this and I put it, I cranked my flat iron all the way up. We'll put the flat iron description at the bottom for you guys. And I put it at like the, the notch before the highest notch. And just so, cause I don't have time, I just go really, really fast and run it through really quick. And today I didn't have, I don't have it as flat or as nice as I probably should or would, but you know, it's a throw on. It and looks this great. Is it what looks it is really good. Like I kind of want this way for myself, but I don't want to do straight hair no more. Like curly. Oh. I need low maintenance. Like I'm natural, guys. So these synthetic wigs really are convenient for me. But the straight ones are really work for me. I just. But I could say that this is a low maintenance straight wig because, like I said, like you could get this together in less than ten minutes. Yeah, and that's no kind of what made me feel like that. Yeah, you haven't really had to nothing. Do much. You saw I slap this thing on, and I was like, oh, we doing a ring review? Pop. <laughs> and it was on, and that was it. So I would say, as far as maintenance, and it looks up. really good on you too. Okay. It's perfect. Yeah, I'm, I, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> this update we really enjoyed doing this for you guys you know we love wearing wigs we love switching it up for you guys so this is really fun for us yes yes we have to change our looks up every now and again but again like every said we really hope you guys enjoyed this video we guys really wanted to give you guys two different things to look at she has the human hair wig i have a synthetic hair wig but either way it goes we have more content on the way definitely more wig reviews so make sure you guys don't forget to like and subscribe